Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm Daniel Norton here in my studio and we're going to do a quick little five minute video. So this is another thing. Well, I feel like I say this a lot. I say this a lot because it happens a lot, but this is another thing that I've been asked multiple times. Is a 50 millimeter lens on a crop sensor a portrait lens? Okay, so let's break this down. First of all, if you've watched my stuff, you would know that I shoot on full frame cameras mostly and I use a 50 millimeter lens for portraits all the time. So if I want to give the snarky answer, I would be like, yeah, of course, any lens is a portrait lens. A 35 is a portrait lens, a 105 is a portrait lens. If you're making a portrait with it, it's a portrait lens. But I understand the question, right? When we're learning, we're trying to figure out what tools to get, what might be best for what thing. Um, you know, like for instance, there's lots of different hammers, right? There's like framing hammers and then there's tack hammers and whatever hammer they're using outside. And yeah, they can all bang a nail in, but some are better for some tasks. So let's break down what is a portrait lens. Typically speaking, people are going to want to use a slightly longer focal length when they're shooting a portrait. And the reason for that is the, the slightly longer focal length or the longer focal length is going to make you stand further away from your subject. The further away you stand from your subject, the more you increase compression. That compression is going to you know, have several results. The, the most noticeable for most people is it's going to reduce the, 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 the amount that their nose seems to stick out. It's going to bring the ears in closer so they're not pulled way far back. Those are the kind of the big things. It also, the background compresses and the, the cheeks come up and stuff like that. It widens the face slightly. Now, there is an extreme, of course, right? When you start using a 400 millimeter lens and you're standing way far back to get that framing, it can be too extreme for some people. It'll completely change the look of the face. And there's lots of videos about these things. So I'm not going to go in step by step about this, but just suffice it to know that the reason why we're using a portrait lens is so that we can stand back a bit further. Standing back a bit and, and still get that, you know, classic portrait crop. Standing back is going to increase compression. So now let's go back to the question. Is a 50 millimeter lens on a crop sensor camera a portrait lens? Well, when people talk about um, field of view, right, which is really what they're talking about here, you have to think about it this way. If I'm using a 50 millimeter lens on my full frame camera and I frame somebody up, let's say like this, right? And then I put that same lens on my crop frame camera, right? In order to get that exact same framing, I will need to step back further. This is going to increase compression, which makes it more like a portrait lens, okay? That being said, lens manufacturers do actually consider the general use of lenses when they're making them. And if you're talking about non-zoom lenses, for the most part, you will find that some lenses are actually designed to be used for certain things, certain applications, uh, for whatever reason. Maybe it's a wide-angle lens that's really set to be rectilinear, so it's, it's really designed for, you know, using for, for uh, let's say, architecture, right? Because, sure, you want straight lines in the landscape, but it's not as important as it is when you're in a room, right? Um, in some longer lenses are designed with the way that the, the, the autofocus areas fall off, the, the general overall kind of micro contrast, as they say, of the lens is designed to be more flattering as a portrait lens. This is one reason why I prefer, uh, let's say in the Nikon system, the, the 105 uh, 1.4 to the 105 2.8 macro, personally. Um, the reason for that is 2.8 might be f4 macro. In any case, it's not because one's 1 1.4, it's because that 105 1.4 was kind of designed around the idea of it being a portrait lens. At least that's my understanding of it, and when I look at it, I think it's more flattering for portraits. I think macro lenses in general are very, very sharp. They're very flat-fielded so that the whole image stays very sharp. And I personally like my portrait lenses to be tack sharp kind of in the center and then get softer as they move to the edges. This helps give kind of like a gradation, a little three-dimensionality that's a little bit different than a super, super sharp macro lens. So for me, that makes it more of a portrait lens, not the focal length, they're both 105. So if you have a 50 millimeter lens and you put it on your crop sensor camera and you step back so you get that portrait framing, yeah, you can make a portrait with it and it will be fine. Is it the same as using, let's say, an 85 millimeter lens that had been developed from the ground up as a portrait lens? Probably not. It's not gonna be exactly the same. That being said, that 85 millimeter lens on your crop camera is gonna make you have to step back even further. So that may factor into your decision on what you wanna buy. The long and short of it is that there's a lot that goes into this. It's not as simple as saying, when you put it on your camera, it becomes this or this is that. And people throw out equivalents all the time, which 
really are zany. And the reason why I say they're zany is not because those people, and you know how they are, you've watched their videos. It's not because what they're saying is it scientifically accurate or whatever, maybe it is, maybe it's not. It's because unless you really have a deep understanding of things, it's not really gonna matter to you. If you don't know what an 85 millimeter on a full frame camera looks like when you make a portrait, you've only ever used a crop camera and you've only ever used a 50 millimeter lens and your portraits look the way you like them, go for it, right? There's no reason why you shouldn't just use it. Field of view is important, right? Field of view is important because it determines where you're going to stand. If that 50 millimeter lens on your crop sense camera, crop sensor camera makes you stand far enough back to give you the compression that you want, you're good to go. If not, throw an 85 on there and you're also good to go. In any case, if you haven't already, guys, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you next time.